Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's a great drill you can be doing to help you with your golf swing. If you like this tip, make sure you give me a thumbs up, then click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. Here's a great drill you can be doing, not only at the range, but when you're at home. And this is gonna help you widen your swing arc. So if you don't know, <laughs> you wanna try and get the widest arc possible. So how wide is the widest arc? The widest arc is however wide or however much you can stretch out your arms. Your arms are only so long, so if you can stretch them out that much, why would you hit a golf ball with a narrower arc than that? You start narrowing the arc, you lose club head speed. Plus, you end up hitting a golf ball with the grip falling behind the head, you end up twisting the face, and all sorts of things. And that would be your chicken wing, right? Chicken wing, you're hitting it and you're contracting your muscles, okay? Contracting. This is extended, this is contracted. So if you contract the muscles, now you're hitting the ball with a narrower arc, okay? So we wanna try and widen the arc. So widening the arc though is a totally different feeling. Feels weird, feels different if you've never done it before. That's because you're used to a contracted position. This feels normal to you. If you took your arms like that and then stretched them out, that would feel weird. So you gotta get used to that weird feeling and know that that's what it's supposed to feel like. So you need to keep doing this stuff. You know, I tell people, do it on a daily basis. Do practice swings at home, okay? Just want, coming out to the range once a week, it's gonna be very difficult to change things. So just take a club, have it around your house, you know, numerous times a day. If you can do 10, that's fine, but 10 multiple times a day. Do 25 if you can. Do 50, the more the better, okay? Because you're trying to get used to a new feeling, right? And then you're hoping that feeling goes into your golf swing. Eventually it will if you keep doing it, but you know, <laughs> hopefully it goes into your swing in a few practice sessions or a few days or weeks, okay? So completely different feeling. So here's what I'm getting at. For this one, you can see I've got this golf bag here so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna hit a golf ball and then I'm gonna tell you what to do with the object. I'm gonna call it an object because that doesn't have to be a golf bag. At home, it could be a chair, a tree, a table, anything, okay? So let me hit one first. You'll see how my arms stretch out after I've hit this ball, okay? Okay, so did you see my arms stretch out? So I came in like this, lead arm was extended, back arm is slightly tucked. At about two feet after contact with irons, one, two, two feet after contact with irons, both arms are stretched out. Driver, because you tilt more, three feet after contact. Now, as my arms kept going, my back arm took over, fully stretched out. Okay, once we get to around three quarters, now the lead arm starts bending or folding, and then they're both folding into the through swing or into the follow through. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an object in front of us. Okay, we're not hitting balls with this one. This is just a practice drill. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna use my golf bag. So well, I'm not, again, I'm not hitting balls, okay? This is just a drill. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna step kind of close to the bag I'm gonna to touch the bag with the club head. Now I'm gonna take a big step this way so I don't hit the bag, <laughs> okay? But I have an object here now to try and hit with my club. So I'm right here and I'm thinking about that bag over there. I go into the backswing and now I try to hit it. 
I know I'm not going to hit it because I took a big step away from it. But at least it gives me something to be thinking about that is in a fully extended position. It's going to get me stretching the arms out. So I sit here like this, I go into the backswing, and then I try to hit that bag. Okay? Try to hit the bag. To do that, you're going to start to get used to this extended feeling that I'm talking about. And if you've never done this before, it's going to feel weird. Okay? That's what I'm saying. If it feels weird, why would you keep doing it? Well, <laughs> if you keep repeating it, it doesn't feel weird anymore. So you'd be more likely to put that into your golf swing and have your arms fully extended. And why wouldn't you want to be all over this? You know, so many people I see do a chicken wing, and yet they do nothing to try and fix the chicken wing. Like getting rid of a chicken wing, that is a huge, huge step in building a way better golf swing. You will hit the ball so much better if you are not doing a chicken wing. So I'd become obsessed with that. If I videoed my swing and saw that I was doing a chicken wing, man, I'd be all over something like this. Okay, but remember, it feels weird. It's different. You're not good at it. You're not used to it. That's why I'm saying do it at home. Okay, so at home, maybe that's a chair, a tree in your backyard, you know, a pole, something, something that's there. Okay, so you come up to it like this. Do your kind of just do your grip on the club. Stretch your arms out and touch the object. Okay? Now you're going to take a big step this way. Okay? And now you're just literally thinking about hitting it. Let the arms stretch. Stretch them out. Wider arc, more club head speed. When you go like this, you are narrowing your arc. You started with your arm stretched out at setup. You're hitting it with your arm bent if you're doing a chicken wing. So the arc is getting narrower. Narrower arc, you're not going to hit it as far. Plus, when you do the chicken wing, like I said, the grip falls behind the head. So you start adding loft onto your golf club. You're going to hit it too high. Ball's just going to deflect off the face. It's going to have that click to it instead of that nice compressed sound. And you will never hit it any longer or better. It just will never happen. So for the sake of doing a simple drill like this, you know, again, why would you not be doing this? Okay, so you can, if you're out at the range here, you put an object there, you know, you got your bag. Okay, I got it here. I'm here, I get used to the feeling. Okay, now, obviously, get rid of your bag, okay? And then apply that to your shot, okay? For this one, I'll just hit a driver, okay? So imagine I've, you know, you could have your bag back here, let's say. Touch it, step this way, okay? Hit the bag, okay? Hit the bag, okay? Now that's out of my way. I moved it back, I go like this and I get that sensation. I imagine the bag's over there. I'm going to hit it. Okay? Then it starts going into your swing. All right? Wider arc, more club head speed. Compression on your shots. Hopefully they, you know, you come through with the face a lot more square, so you hit them a lot straighter. You get the right trajectory. Okay? You do all that, guess what? You hit the ball a million times better than what you're hitting it <laughs> for the sake of just a little bit of work on something that's new. It feels different. So do the work and it'll feel fine. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.